Hi folks, this is David Fine with Keys Moths. Welcome to Wacky Worms. Today we are visiting one of the common butterflies throughout most of North and South America. It's the cloudless sulfur, Phoebus senni. Uh, great bug, beautiful bug though. Check this out. Identifying the cloudless sulfur down in South Florida might be a little bit more difficult than in the rest of the United States because there are a few other bugs down here that look very similar. Uh, dorsally, male cloudless sulfurs, very, very simple. Plain, real bright lemon yellow coloration. On the underside, on the, on the ventral side, we've got some little brown kind of flecky markings, but uh, nothing too distinct. Females, also bright yellow. Probably not quite as bright as the males, but they have those brown checkered spots on the on the outer margins of the forewings and inside the discal cell of the forewing. Undersides, the females have a couple little silvery white spots and some little bit heavier pattern of that brown flecky color on the underside. Easy to tell apart uh, when you have specimens, but if you're out in the wild and you see a statira fly next to a cloud of sulfur, good luck to you. Um, very difficult to tell apart in the wild. Statiras are a little bit more light in color, not quite as vibrant yellow as the uh, cloudless sulfurs might be. Cloudless sulfurs host plants are plants in the cassia and senna families. Uh, they'll eat the candlestick cassia here, the exotic one that we have uh, mostly uh, grown here in South Florida. They'll only eat the flowers or the youngest new little leaves. Uh, they're not gonna eat old leaves. I don't raise large sulfurs from egg inside and like on cuttings or whatever. If I was gonna raise them, I'd leave them outside on the plant and let nature do its thing. The caterpillars are uh, kind of like a lime green coloration and they've got these, these kind of like bright blue stripes that come down. It's a, actually a pretty caterpillar. Uh, they got some tubercle things going on. Um, they feed on either, like I said, either the flowers or the leaves. And if they feed on the flowers, they might change colors. The caterpillar might be more of a yellow color if they're feeding on a cassia flower or something like that. Uh, when, when they pupate, if they pupate on a flat, smooth surface, the pupa comes out green. Kind of interesting. If they pupate on a rough surface, the pupa comes out pink. Uh, very interesting how that all works out. Typically they pupate and the pupa comes out green and they pupate on the vein of the leaf or stem of a cassia or senna plant. And the pupa looks very typical of a pyrid chrysalis, uh, hangs upside down with a girdle and it's got that long nose that comes off off the nose of the chrysalis. Pretty cool chrysalis. Very difficult bug to photograph and approach in the wild. They are fast and furious. They love firebush. Uh, Hemalia patens down here in South Florida. They like uh, Bidens are, are some good plants that you can use. They love Exoras. Uh, so if you have an Exora hedge, red or pink Exora, uh, these are plants that the cloudless sulfur loves very much. Down here in South Florida, they can be found throughout the entire year, all months of the year. They uh, can be found throughout the Keys as well, Florida Keys. Um, but they definitely are more abundant in the fall months. So if you want to focus on cloudless sulfurs in South Florida, uh, probably September, October, November would be the time of the year to look for those uh, caterpillars. If not, you're gonna be finding a lot more orange bar giant sulfurs throughout most of the year. So that's about all the time we have for today. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Follow us there. We post just about every day. Uh, we've got tons of great information and videos like this to share with you. So subscribe to the channel and click the little bell. That'll get you notifications so that we can get you these videos in real time when they come out and you don't miss them. We want to educate you guys on the butterflies and mallet moths of South Florida. Uh, give us a like. Until next time, let's get out there. Enjoy South Florida. Take care, guys.